quick shout out guys before we get started with today's video this is mystic play with him on my server pretty often and he asked me to give him a shout out and tell you guys to go look him up on roblox so and subscribe to the acidic pair you should do that too that's me yay Hey, hey guys, Tara here. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing another Rayquaza hunt. I have had zero luck finding him so far, but I'm going to go look some more and maybe I'll do a little bit better this time. I am a little bit more prepared than I was in the previous video because I have a Master Ball. It's only one, but I am saving it specifically for Rayquaza because if I find him, I want to make sure I can catch him. And also, I have got four different dragon slash flying types in my party. I've been told multiple times that dragon and flying types in your party increase your chance of running into him, kind of like Darkrai with dark Pokemon in your party. And I haven't validated that information, but I've been told that a bunch of times by quite a few different people that have been playing for a while. So, and most of them have had better luck than me. So I'm going to assume that they know what they're talking about and give it a try. And I also have just over 40,000 Poke Dollars here, which is perfect for buying one of the Poke Boosters for the Legend Encounters to double it. So I'm going to give that a shot too once I figure out the 10 minute rotation that the Hunch Area guy here has got going on. I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to wait till I know when his 10 minutes starts. So this first round, he is saying it's Route 6, so I'm going to go there really quickly, see what I can find. Maybe I'll have a little bit of luck, but I'm not going to look the whole 10 minutes. I'll look maybe 4 or 5, and then I'll come back and see what the rotation is. Also, really quickly, while I'm running over here, I wanted to apologize to Springtrap and GTA. You guys know who you are. I told them that they could record with me and be in this video, and I ended up having to log out really quickly yesterday. I had some family stuff going on, and I ended up not getting back on the computer until pretty late last night, which is when I was recording most of this footage. So, I didn't get to record with you guys online. I'm really, really sorry about that, but I will definitely do so, you know, the next time you guys are online with me. Um, ran into a mudkip here, which is pretty cool. I got my hopes up though. I really thought I was going to run into a Rayquaza when it popped up with the squares, but I'm not going to complain about a mudkip. I did not have one before this, so that's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to take that and um, try to catch it. But yeah, like I said, sorry about that um, to Springtrap and GTA. And also, that goes for all of you guys. Like, if you guys want a shout out or if you want to play on my server or anything like that, just send me a friend request or a message on Roblox. I make these videos for you guys. I'm more than happy to give you guys shout outs for your channels or for your, you know, your game or whatever. Just let me know. I love playing with um, the other people that watch my channel or that just enjoy the game, honestly. If you don't want to be in the videos, no big deal, but I would love to play and hang out with you guys. So if you happen to see me online, you want to join my server, please do. Don't be shy. I love seeing you guys online with me. So. I finally figured out his 10 minute rotation. I've been standing here talking to him for like the last six minutes and I finally figured out when it changes over. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this Poke Booster for the legendary chance. And he said it is Route 4, which is in front of Misty's Gym in Cerulean City. So I'm going to run over there and see if I have any more luck. Um, also, a couple other things I wanted to mention really quickly. I know I'm talking a lot and I'm really sorry. Um, a lot of people have asked me about my t-shirt. It is not currently for sale, the one that I'm wearing in Roblox, my acidic pear symbol, um, but it will be here in the next couple of days. I'm trying to get my Builders Club membership worked out with Roblox. I did something wrong. I don't know if I typed in my info wrong or something, but I'm fixing it as we speak. So I will probably have that oven running in the next couple days and you'll be able to buy the t-shirt. So look for that. Um, I'll mention it again in the next video if I get it fixed by then. Hopefully I'll have a video up tomorrow, so I'll try to get that fixed. And also, a lot of people have asked me how I get so many legendaries and shinies. And I just want to clear the air with that really quickly. I am not a hacker. I do not cheat. I have not done anything like illegal as far as the game goes to get any of my legendaries or shinies or any of my Pokemon for that matter. Um, I have all of the game passes, just about. I don't have like the Mount Moon and the starters, Kanto starters, but I do have the legendaries. I do have the Kanto legendaries, which is Mewtwo, Moltres, all of those, which I've told you before. And I do have the shiny game pass. So I do run into shinies all the time. I do run into legendaries pretty often. Um, not all the time, but it's quite a bit. 
And I play the game quite a bit. Like, you can ask the people who play on my server with me. I'm on here just about every single day for a little while at least. And this is what I do. I go where it tells me the legends are. And I just run in that patch of grass, you know, back and forth for 10 minutes or whatever. And I just look for things. And I happen to find a lot of legendaries that way with the game passes. But I do not, you know, take people's uh, Pokemon. I do not scam people. I would never do that. I don't think that's right. Um, you know, everything I have, I either caught or I traded for it fairly. And there are a few people that give me Pokemon every now and again. Um, they give them to me to congrats me on reaching a milestone with my subscribers or, you know, just to give me a gift or whatever. And I really, really appreciate that. I keep those in a special place in my PC when I'm not using them. Those are close to my heart because you guys are absolutely amazing. I know I tell you that all the time, but it is true. You guys are awesome. And like I said, I make these videos for you guys more than anything because I really want to help you guys out. And just like anybody else, I enjoy playing the game and I want to do a good job with it. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that. You know, a lot of people do ask me that. I've been accused a couple of times of doing things that are um, less than noble. And I just want you guys to know that that is not the case. I, I play fair. I follow the rules. Things like that. So, anyway, enough about all that. Um, at this point, I have been looking in this area for something like four minutes. And normally when I do run into something good in the hunch areas, it is like the last minute or two of the 10 minute stretch. So I'm going to speed the video up a little bit here, kind of rush through these little battles with the Rotatas and the Ekans, and see if we can find anything good worth talking about. <laughs> well, that happened a lot quicker than I expected it to. Look, guys, it's not a Rayquaza, but it is a Cresselia. That's awesome. I'm so excited. I have not seen a Cresselia since I caught mine, like, forever ago. For real. It's probably been, like, three months ago. And I didn't have the Game Pass until, you know, recently. I just bought it, like, yesterday or day before. So that might have something to do with it. And I know it's supposed to make them more often that you run into them. But she is still really, really rare. And any of you that talk to me very often or play on my server with me, like, at all, know that I love Cresselia. It's one of my absolute favorite Pokemon in this game. And I know a lot of people disagree with me on that, but for me personally, she is one of the best. And I just absolutely love her. I used her in E4. Her, a Mewtwo, and a Darkrai did almost all of the work for the E4. I also had, like, a Scraggy and a Celebi, I think I had with me. And Garchomp, definitely Garchomp. He was a big player in my E4 battle. But anyway, on to the point. Um, you guys know, if you've been watching me very much at all, that when I get a double of anything, especially something as cool as a Cresselia, I do give it away. And I'm not going to do that today. She will be in a later giveaway if I catch her. I'm definitely going to catch her because if I have to, I'll use my Master Ball. I don't want to. But if I have to, I will. She's that rare. But anyway... I will be giving her away at a later date. Today, though, we are going to be doing a different giveaway. I promised you guys a couple videos ago that if you got the video to 30 likes, I would do a shiny giveaway, and you did. You got it up to 31, so we'll get to that here in a minute, but let me see first if I can catch her without having to use my Master Ball. She gets me down to my last Pokemon. I will go ahead and use the Master Ball and just buy another one for Rayquaza, but I'm going to try to catch her with just Ultra Balls. Let's see if we can do it. giving me so much trouble. I'm on Dialga. I only have Dragonite left after this. Come on, stay in there. Yay! She did it! She stayed in the Ultra Ball. I'm so excited. I didn't have to use my Master Ball after all, but it did take like, I don't know, 20 something Ultra Balls a lot. So I'm gonna save and then we will get on with the shiny giveaway that I promised. Alright guys, here it is. These are the shiny Pokemon I'm gonna be giving away today. Um, kind of show you what I've got here. I've got a Raichu. I went ahead and evolved it. It started out as a Pichu. Went ahead and evolved it both times, so you don't have to worry about that if you get this one. 
I also have a Mamos wine that I went ahead and evolved. Also, these take stones and things like that, which is why I'm mentioning them. So, you know, you don't have to worry about buying that stuff. And I think the lowest one here is this Kangaskhan. It's a level 73. And then the Mamoswan and Raichu are like 76. I think everything else in this box is between level 80 and 100. And I'm just going to kind of click through them and show you what I have. The Kangaskhan and the Mamoswan I already mentioned. And just kind of let you see what the choices are. Now, none of these are legends. They are, some of them are rares. They're really hard to come by. Murkrow, later on you'll see, is pretty rare. Um, Luxio is pretty hard to get. Things like that. So, there are a few that are rare. There are a few that are better than the others. But, I'm just going to give away all of them. I'm going to be picking a different winner for each one. And, I just kind of wanted to show you what your options were. So, if you want to enter, then you'll know kind of what your chances of getting something are. But, I wanted to do a bigger giveaway this time. I know I've only been doing like two and three in the last couple giveaways. So, I wanted to do a bigger one. I'm celebrating my 200 subscriber mark because you guys are absolutely amazing, like I said before. And, will continue to say because you guys are great. And, wanted to give more people a chance to win because we're getting bigger numbers. We're getting more people joining our team here. And, I want to give more people the opportunity to win something. So, um, same rules as always. If you don't know what they are, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on this video letting me know your Roblox username. That's it. If you are already subscribed, you know, no big deal. All you have to do is leave that comment. Um, some of you I actually already know. I play with you all the time. But go ahead and leave it anyway for my random name thing that draws the winners. And I'm going to run this one a little bit longer. Probably going to run this um, giveaway for about a week because there are so many there are 15, so I'm going to be choosing 15 winners. So, 15 people are going to get picked here in about a week. I'm not sure of the day yet. I'll let you guys know later. But, I will just kind of pick random names to go with random Pokemon and give them away. So, hope all of you get a chance to join. And, I wish you all all the luck in the world. And, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like it. If we get, let's say, if we get 70 likes on this one, I will do a legendary giveaway next. So, 70 likes. See if we can do that. And as always, stay safe, be happy. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!